Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So today is the other Wednesday, which makes it Hidden Figures Day. Today's hidden figure is Mary Lou Williams, who was born Mary Alfreda Scruggs on May 8, 1910, and died May 28, 1981. Mary Lou Williams was an American jazz pianist, arranger, and composer. She wrote hundreds of compositions and arrangements and recorded more than 100 records in 78, 45, and LP versions. Williams wrote and arranged for Duke Ellington and Benny Goodman, and she was a friend, mentor, and teacher to Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Tad Dameron, Bud Powell, and Dizzy Gillespie. So if you've heard of any of those names, they were trained by and inspired by Mary Lou Williams. Musical prodigy Mary Lou Williams began her performance career as a child. Without training, Williams played a song by ear on her family's pump organ, capturing the attention of her mother. By the age of seven, she was playing professionally, and by the time she was a teenager, she was playing alongside saxophonist John Williams. Mary Lou Williams is one of the only jazz musicians to adapt her style and play across multiple eras of the genre. She was an acclaimed and multi-talented pianist, composer, arranger, singer, and educator. The second of 11 children, Williams was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and grew up in the East Liberty neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A young musical prodigy, it's a bug, y'all know how I feel about bugs, sorry. A young musical prodigy, at the age of three, she taught herself to play the piano. At the age of six, she supported her 10 half brothers and sisters by playing at parties. She began performing publicly at the age of seven, where she became known admiringly in Pittsburgh as the Little Piano Girl. She became a professional musician in her teens, citing Lovey Austin, who was another uh, black woman jazz player who I ended up looking up, so I'll probably do a Hidden Figures on her as well, as her greatest influence. In 1922, at the age of 12, she went on the Orpheum circuit. Excuse me. During the following year, she played with Duke Ellington and his early small band, the Washingtonians. She married fellow jazz musician, saxophonist John Williams in November of 1927, and he advocated for her acceptance as a female musician as well as toured with her. She met him at a performance in Cleveland where he was leading his group, the Syncopators, and moved with him to Memphis, Tennessee. He assembled a band in Memphis which included Williams on piano, and in 1929, 19-year-old Williams assumed leadership of the Memphis band when her husband accepted an invitation to join Andy Kirk's band in Oklahoma City. Williams eventually joined her husband in Oklahoma City but did not play with the group excuse me, with the band. The group, Andy Kirk's 12 Clouds of Joy, later moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Williams, when she wasn't working as a musician, was employed transporting bodies for an, un an undertaker, which I thought was just like a really interesting like little tidbit, little fun fact kind of. When the Clouds of Joy accepted a long-standing engagement in Kansas City, Missouri, Williams joined her husband and began sitting in with the band, as well as serving as its arranger and composer. She provided Kirk with such songs as Walkin' and Swingin', Twinklin', Cloudy, and Little Joe from Chicago. With more than 100 recordings to her credit, Williams wrote music for legendary band leaders, including Duke Ellington and Benny Goodman, and she was a teacher to the jazz great Thelonious Monk. Her work was widely respected and honored, and she served as artist-in-residence at Duke University, where the Mary Lou Williams Center for Black Culture was created in 1983. Williams was also a two-time Guggenheim Fellow, a Grammy Award nominee, and the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts holds an annual Mary Lou Williams Women in Jazz Festival. She was known as the First Lady of the Jazz Keyboard. In 1981, Mary Lou Williams died of bladder cancer in Durham, North Carolina at the age of 71. Music legends Dizzy Gillespie, Benny Goodman, and Andy Kirk were all in attendance at her funeral at the Church of St. Ignatius Loyola. She was buried in the Roman Catholic Calvary Cemetery in Pittsburgh, and looking back at the end of her life, Mary Lou Williams said, I did it, didn't I? Through the muck and the mud, I did it. That's Mary Lou Williams, a hidden figure. I also want to give a big, big, big shout out. I want to make sure that I get this exactly right because I'm not that good with acronyms. I also want to give a big, 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 big shout out to 
the NMAAHC, which is the National Museum for African American History, which I follow on Instagram. If you guys are not following them, at NMAAHC, I would hugely recommend following them. Like, they post tons of just really interesting people, like Black Americans, Black American history. They have a, a series called Hidden Her Story, um, which they do, which is how I actually heard of Mary Lou Williams. So I would definitely recommend following them because I, I've just seen a ton of great stuff coming out of that account. So Mary Lou Williams, a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, please for that as always. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you guys next time. Peace.